Hello, this is Spider-Man from the Half-Life Alex No VR development team. I'm here today with a simple tutorial to help you install our mod and get you playing right away. First step is you need an official copy of Half-Life Alex from Steam. Uh, I'm sure you don't need a tutorial on how to find games on the Steam store, uh, but just go to the Steam store, look up Half-Life Alex, uh, purchase it. Um, it is a full price game. Um, it's $59.99 USD, um, you know, regularly, but it does regularly go on sale for $20 USD. Uh, it just went off a big sale from the winter sale. That's normally when we get a lot of influx of new players. Uh, so keep an eye out for the next sale if, you know, the higher cost is a, a bit too much. And, uh, and we normally alert when those sales happen. So you can keep an eye on our Discord or our Twitter, uh, which um, you'll find the links in the description below. So uh, once you've purchased your copy of Alex, uh, instead of a play button, um, it'll have an installation button in your library. Just press install. The game is about 50 gigabytes in size uh, and will take up almost 70 gigabytes once it is uh, installed and the game very much prefers to be uh, on an SSD. So please install it on an SSD. Otherwise, if you're using a older type of hard drive, mechanical hard drive even, uh, it uh, you'll notice like texture pop in uh, and much, much long, uh, longer load times between level transitions. So Try to install it to an SD if you can. So, let the game install. And then what's step two? Well, that's to go to our GitHub page. So, um, you can see the link on the screen right now, and it's included in the description below. Uh, so, this is our main GitHub page for Half-Life Alex No VR. So, you're going to scroll down a bit to where it gives you the readme, the instructions. So this is Half-Life Alex No VR, the easiest to use and most flexible No VR mod for Half-Life Alex. This mod makes the entire game playable with many VR interactions preserved in some form for a flat screen. Installation. Install the official launcher. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. And we're focusing only on Windows here. Um, so this is an installation on Windows um, with the launcher slash installer. So let's download it. So let's click the link and then it's going to bring us to the Git for um, the launcher itself. But we're not downloading the raw, you know, code. Uh, we just want the actual installer. So scroll down to the README again. Uh, and again, it's a launcher for Half-Life Alex, no VR. Like I said, we're focusing on Windows and we're going to download and run it. So click it. It's going to download it. It's just under 40 megabytes. It's already done. You know, whatever type of uh, internet browser you're using, you know, just click the file directly from where it downloads um, in the little download menu for your browser. So just click it and that will launch it for you. Now, Windows is going to be a bit concerned since it's an EXE file. Uh, so what you're going to want to do if this comes up from Microsoft Defender, just click more info. Uh, so that'll tell you, you know, it's the... Uh, installer that's trying to um, you know be allowed to run and you're gonna click run anyway now my screen has probably gone black because the like admin administrator control has come up yeah, this may come up for you too it's again just saying you know do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device uh, and you're gonna say yes so click yes and now the install uh, installer for uh, the launcher will come up you have your basic, you know, license agreement, I accept, click next. That's going to show you where it's installing it. You can change the location if you like, uh, but it's just going to default to C program files, Half-Life Alex, no VR launcher. Click next. Uh, it'll also give you an option to create a desktop shortcut. Uh, we will do that because you're always going to want to launch the game uh, from the launcher. Click next. Just reviewing what it's doing, the destination, all the other things, creating a desktop shortcut, and we're going to install it. It's just going to take a few seconds, uh, and it will be done. There we go. And now, the next step. We want to launch the launcher. It's going to give you that option at the end of the installation. 
Uh, and we're going to click, uh, you know, we're not going to change it. We'll click finish to launch it. If you need, you know, you don't want to yet, remember it made a desktop shortcut and of course shortcutting your start menu. So just, you know, find it there um, otherwise. But we're going to launch it directly from the ins uh, installer. And we're going to get our menu. So play quit what branch we're on. I'm using the playtest branch that's open to everyone, but of course it's more experimental, so be wary of any um, bugs and glitches. Uh, but we're going to switch to the main branch, and that's what it will default to. So when you're doing this fresh yourself, it will already be on main. So just leave it on main, that's what we recommend. Uh, if you do want to try out the playtest one, just delete main and write playtest. All right, the custom launch options here. This is just like Steam when you go to like the settings of a game and you can add custom launch options. Uh, so we default these ones. The console, VSync, and a 1080p resolution is what we start out with. Source 2 has a lot of launch options. You know, just Google it. And if there's other ones you want to add, you know, feel free. So we want to play the game. But what it's going to do is download because it needs to know... You know, do you have the latest version installed? So it's downloading, it's now installing our latest version, and it's going to launch the game. Alright, well we're launching in the game at this point, right? There are no other instructions. The mod is installed, the game is installed, it's launching right now. And, uh, you know, start a new game. You know, let's go to, uh, sure, chapter 9. Let's just get in quick just to show we're in game here and the mod is installed and everything's all good. Obviously, we can already see that, the, you know, our um, our main menu is there. Um, yeah, there we go. We're in game. Go up the ladder there. Good luck trying to lock out someone wielding an Alex. Sure, I'm using a shotgun at long range. But here we are. Whoa, Russell, the forge just took down the last substation. Oh, let me see. Anyways, um, there's your tutorial. If you have any questions, concerns, you're having issues with this installation for some reason, um, please join our Discord, details uh, in um, the description below, and we can give you more, you know, granular, specific help from, you know, some kind of bug or glitch that um, installing the mod um, uh, is doing on you. So, thank you again. Uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you then. Thanks again for all your support, and uh, we'll see you well into 2024.